In this video, I am releasing another custom GPT, this time for e-commerce SEO. Instead of putting a link, although I'll probably still put a link in the description, uh, if you have the GPT store and you click on search public GPTs and you search for e-commerce, you will find GPT content writing expert for SEO for e-commerce. Yes, I am using ChatGPT to try and rank on Google there. But what this does is it writes content for uh, any website, um, it works a lot better with Shopify websites and I've got it to the point now where you don't actually have to do any programming or anything like that. You can just use the assistant. So you start off by writing your website and then the language. This um, particular version of this GPT should write good foreign language content as well. So if you're writing in Italian, French, Spanish, German, it should write decent uh, content. So the first thing it does is it finds your website uh, on Bing. And actually, let me just quickly show you just uh, the, the, de the level of detail that I've put into this particular GPT because I am quite proud of it. So it does a lot. And like I showed in one of my previous videos, the way that I do it is you have the step-by-step -step process and then you have everything else which kind of backs up the process. And I've been working on this for a while. I've even had to try and use actions as well to try and get it to read sitemaps properly. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting one for sure. Okay, so at the end it says, what keywords should I focus on ranking for your article? So I'm just gonna make one up, smart casual. And the reason I'm just putting smart casual, not smart casual for men, is because I wanna show you that once you give it the context of the website to men.it, you can actually see that it focuses, it, it states it itself that it focuses on menswear fashion. Sartorial luxury, menswear fashion. Italian sartorial luxury and menswear fashion. That is exactly what we are. So by allowing ChatGPT to understand your website through Bing, it actually does a much better job of writing content for you. So then the next thing it does is it creates some NLP keywords. So stylish comfort, modern professional attire, casual elegance. These are all good keywords. And then terms for sitemap search. This doesn't work that well, so we'll just skip through this. Um, so that next, please provide the HTML file of your homepage. Do the, to do this, right click on your homepage, save it as an HTML file, and then upload it here. So we'll go to the homepage. This is kind of reliant on you having a good amount of things in your header or on your homepage a good amount of like collections or category, category links. Right click, save as. I want you to change this. Actually, this one can be saved as web page complete. So we'll just save this. I've already got it, so I won't save it again. And then we want to attach the file and you want to find this link here and then say here it is. So that's now done and we'll hit enter here. Now I do have an auto blogger that is better than this because what it does is it does everything you're looking at now but it, it's uh, in python and if you say that you're writing an article about suits or jeans then it specifically writes about those topics now if you want to try that out i do have that on my github um, i'll leave a link to that as well in the description so you can see here it's got a couple of internal links that we can use so pants collection chesile Delini collection about us page Kit on personalized sneakers. Again, these are not the best. Um, another thing you can do is you could, when it gets to this point where it says, please provide an HTML file, say, here are my internal links that I want you to use, and then you just give it 10 internal links instead. So this is just for people who um, yeah, don't want to do anything and just want to give a file and not think about anything. So the next question is, how long do you want the content to be? The options are uh, extra small, small, medium, or large. So I said medium. And then it says, great, you've chosen medium. The next step is to choose how to incorporate product images and also to give it the product images. So we're going to go to the sitemap. And you can do this in two ways. If you're on WordPress, you're just going to have to give it some, in, some product images that you want it to use. Um, I haven't found a way to scrape uh, a live website inside a custom GPT just yet. So right click on your Shopify sitemap, press save as, and then save it, and then attach it. So it's this one here. And we'll say, I want them in a table. Uh, and we'll hit enter. So another thing that this one doesn't, it doesn't quite choose the best product images. I mean, it's still, 
will work for a lot of e-commerce websites, but you might have to like remove an image where, for example, when I was just testing before, um, it shows swim trunks, which obviously swim trunks are not smart casual. So you would just have to remove that image. But overall, it does a pretty good job of selecting some images to use in the article. Okay, so what you can actually do here is instead of waiting for it to write them all out, you can just press stop. And then you can say, um, okay, now write the article, these, um, and use these images. So hit enter. That's just to save a bit of time. You don't have to do that. You can just let it write um, the entire art, uh, the, all of the things out one by one, but it, it takes ages. So it's much better to just press stop and say, okay, now I'll write the article. One thing I'll say is maybe just choose extra small because this article, this is a medium sized article apparently, but the outline is ridiculous. So if you're just writing quick articles, use extra small. Um, if you're writing a you know, decent article, do you use small? If you're doing a long article, then you can select medium. Um, write the article. So, oops. So something it will very occasionally do is it will write H1 like that, which I really don't want. Uh, it's annoying. So I'm just going to say write the article. Do not uh, say H1 or H2, etc. Just use title, title. So, I mean, sometimes it's still necessary to correct things like that. That's just, you know, chat GPT. Okay, so because I reset it, like, the content has got a little bit worse. But you can see it was going to write, like, a nice little article here. I just ruined it by saying, don't, uh, please remove H1. Um, but, yeah, it, it was doing it, and then it's written the article here. I asked it to remember to give me the table, but I think it would have just given me the table a little bit further down anyway. So a couple of things, if you get some products that you don't like, then just ask it to run it again and it'll give you some more. I'm just rerunning the script or the, sorry, the custom GPT, just because it kind of messed up a little bit there because of the, uh, the, the fact that I stopped it and made it run again. So I'm just uh, letting it run again quickly just so I can show you the final result and what it's supposed to look like. Another thing is when it's on the internal links part, if you don't like these internal links or if it keeps giving the same ones, just ask it to specifically look for more relevant ones. It works quite well at each of these file uploads after it's done its first search of the file, the, f the first like code interpreter run. If you just say to it, please, could you look for slightly more relevant links or slightly more relevant product images? It does do a pretty good job of that. So the final question is tone of voice. So we'll say professional professional and then we'll say first person plural so we as ours etc and then i'm just think i'm just going to let it run so i think now it should just start okay so the last thing it said was let's start with the first part of the article please note that the entire article won't be completed in one generation due to its length and complexity we'll proceed section by section that's fine as many generations as necessary now start writing immediately so obviously this time when I'm making a video, it forgot to um, do the products. So I'm just going to say at the end here, please give me a product comparison table with images. Okay, so this is the final result. Here's the table. Uh, let's just see how many words it actually wrote. And yeah, article's fine. Um, it's mainly good, obviously, because of the, um, the product images. 660 words. So the extra small one does about 660 words. The others will do 1,200, 1,500. Uh, I would recommend doing extra small, to be honest with you. If you want an automatic version of what I just showed you in this video, that does require a little bit of playing around with, but is on Python and does work extremely well. Now, I'm just running this to show you the results, but I want to talk about why the results here are better compared to the custom GPT and what I think they need to change in order to make custom GPTs better. Now, the problem is, is it's much easier to, for the custom GPT to process a list of links. So if I go to products.txt, you can see this is just a, a text document of some products. It's much easier for it to choose from this list of 1,000, 
this line of it's only got 1,252 lines. A sitemap on Shopify has 10,000 lines or whatever. So it's much easier for it to process a file like this. It's the same with the internal links. Um, instead of giving it the entire HTML of your homepage, you can just give it a list of your links. You can do this with the custom GPT as well. But yeah, this works a lot better. And I would definitely recommend if you can code or if you can kind of understand what you have to do to get things to run in Visual Studio Code with Python and things, this is actually a much better way of doing things. So it's been a while since I've used this. So the article is Tailoring Techniques of Italian Suits. And then if we scroll along here, you can see the article has been saved here. So you can use, this is a CSV. And if you want me to make more videos about this, let me know. So you can just take it from the, um, the terminal here, and then you can take it into, <clears throat> into ChatGPT. You can use 3.5 for this. So I'm just going to say format this article properly. So this is the end result. It's just got one product image and uh, an internal link here. And this isn't a suit, obviously, it's a track suit, but you can, you kind of get the idea. Okay, so this is the final one that I want to show you, and it's this one right here. Best men's clothing brands of 2024. And this is the article that it wrote. Now, I use this exact process to write this article right here. So if you want to use this, all you need to do is go to GitHub. It's completely free. You can just um, download it from GitHub, basically. Or you can use the custom GPT. It's really up to you. Yeah, I do have proof of this ranking. Um, this is the article that I wrote maybe a month ago using this method. Let's have a little look how it's doing. So this is the best men's clothing brands of 2024 written with the auto blogger, not with the custom GPT. They do the same thing though. But yeah, the auto blogger is obviously a lot quicker. And yeah, that's pretty good results right there. Getting up to 15, no, 12 clicks per day, which is really, really good. So yeah, check out the custom GPT, or if you want, check out the Python assistance GPT that I made. They're both really, really good. I actually think the autoblogger is better though. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.